introduced in 1962, it's one of the most popular creations of the Italian lighting company, Floss. It's the masterpiece of Floss. It's the historic uh, lamp uh, and is an icon and is something very important. That stunning, iconic arch is actually born of a practical need to have lighting from above, no matter where you are in a room. Of course, when you are on a table, the best way to have a light on a table is from the top. That's why almost every table in the world, where you work, even the pool tables or dining table, they have a suspension bringing you, diffusing you the light out. The Arco lamp is a fine balancing act. The weight of the lamp is countered by a marble stand. The design is simple and timeless. Very simple. It's a weight, a band, R, and a bulb with a reflector. So it's like a wheel. Who's the guy that invented the wheel? Good question, but he was pretty good, he wasn't it? It was designed by the renowned Castiglione brothers, both architects who brought their unique sensibility to the world of lighting. They got their inspiration for the Arco lamp from the curved street lamps of the 1960s. For sure street lighting, because street lighting is how to bring the light in the middle of the street. 45 years later, the Arco has achieved cult status, and Floss still produces several hundred each year. Starting at the base, the process begins with a huge slab of marble from the famous region of Carrara, Italy. Michelangelo got his marble here too. So we have a lot of research to find the cave that have a very white marble and uh, have uh, only some little uh, gray line. The marble is cut into more manageable pieces using wet saws. A constant spray of water cools the heat that's caused by the friction. The beauty of marble is that no two pieces are the same. It's like a sculpture, each piece, because one is different as the other one. The surfaces are polished with a diamond grit buffer. The groove where the arm will fit is then routed. A brilliant thing about the Arco is that even though it weighs over 65 kilograms, it's designed so that two people can move it using a simple broomstick. Here they drill a hole for that very purpose. Then, all the hard edges and corners are beveled by hand. The curved arm that holds the lampshade, or reflector, is called the cannellina. Cannellina is uh, a piece uh, of stainless steel that is in the beginning fold, and uh, after that bent. The three interlocking pieces of the cannellina provide a kind of telescopic action that allows you to adjust the dispersion of the light. The aluminum reflector gets stamped into shape on a punch press. The reflector is uh, stamping in uh, two times. The first one stamp uh, from the top to the middle. The second one pinches the bottom edges inward. Because if you close in the beginning, you cannot take out the mold, and so it's not a good uh, Solution. A hole is stamped in the top of each reflector, and then it goes through several washes to remove grease from the punch press operation. This robotic polishing team works in tandem. One robot does the first stage, the other a finer polish. Back in the 1960s, all this polishing was done by hand. The process uh, improved because of the technology permit us to polish the aluminum reflector in a better way. There is a very big robot that uh, clean it in a fantastic way and polish it in a perfect way. Then they get sprayed with a clear lacquer. Just to be sure that the oxidation do not uh, modify the aesthetic polish of the reflector. On the inside of the reflector, a white matte paint is applied. You paint it in white inside to have a wonderful distribution of uh, light on your table. Then it's into an oven to bake at 90 degrees Celsius for one hour. The reflectors are then ready to meet their perforated diffusers, which help cool the lamp and diffuse the light. All parts arrive in packing and shipping. If you're lucky enough to be getting one of these, you won't mind that there's some assembly required. The client receives a box with the very heavy marble base and receives other two boxes. One for the kit of the canalina and uh, one for the diffuser. And in uh, five minutes, you can assemble it uh, in a very simple way uh, in your house. Timeless and elegant, the Arco remains an enduring symbol that architects and designers still love today. Arco was such a symbol, and even with such an incredible different way of interpreting a land, became 
in Nikon and 40 years later is still in the mind of people and still successful on the market. Introduced in 1962, it's one of the most popular creations of the Italian lighting company, Floss. It's the masterpiece of Floss. It's the historic uh, lamp and is an icon and is something very important. That stunning, iconic arch is actually born of a practical need to have lighting from above, no matter where you are in a room. Of course, when you are on a table, the best way to have a light on a table is from the top. That's why almost every table in the world where you work even 